White button mushrooms cook best when they're cut in order to help drive off excess moisture faster. Start by trimming away the bottom portion of each stem, which will give the mushrooms a more even, stable shape. To quarter the mushroom for roasting or sautéing, hold the cap sideways on a cutting board. Place the tip of a sharp chef's knife or paring knife in between your fingers and thumb and cut down to split the mushroom. Without separating the halves, rotate the mushroom slightly until you can comfortably and safely cut through at a 90 degree angle to the first cut. To slice mushrooms, lay them flat against the cutting board with the stem side facing down. Hold the mushroom steady with your non-knife hand, curling your fingers back slightly so that your first knuckles stick out. Using your knuckles as a guide, make a series of parallel cuts, slowly pulling your knuckles back at an even pace. Similarly sized slices is essential for an apple pie or tart to cook evenly. The easiest way to do this is to start by holding the apple on its flower end. Slice directly down one side, coming as close to the core as possible without actually getting to any of the core. Place the apple flat on the cut surface, then cut off the remaining three sides, rotating the apple as necessary. Then discard the core. Holding one piece cut side down with your free hand, carefully cut it into slices using the knuckles of your free hand as a guide. Repeat this with all of the apple pieces and cook immediately to avoid discoloration. splitting the pomegranate in half with a sharp chef's knife, then split each half in half again to get four quarters. Transfer all of the pieces to a large bowl of cold water. Working with one quarter at a time, invert the skin and break it into pieces, which will cause the seeds to start popping out. Use your fingers to gently pry the seeds from the white membrane, being careful not to press too hard. As you remove the seeds, they should sink to the bottom of the bowl, while any tiny bits of leftover pith will flow to the top. Use a small wire mesh strainer to remove and discard the pith. Then drain the seeds and pick away any leftover pieces of pith.